Today in our 2009 Nissan Xterra, we're going to review and install the Draw Tight Class 3 2 inch receiver tube hitch part number 75291. This is our Class 3 2 inch by 2 inch receiver tube. It's capable of up to 350 pounds of tongue weight and a 3,500 pound tow capacity. Hitch itself is a completely steel and fully welded constructed hitch. You can see here we've got the nice stylish round cross tube that comes down to our receiver tube. The entire hitch is covered in a nice black powder coated finish to resist rust and corrosion. On either side of the receiver tube is our chain hold down and then pre-drilled into our receiver tube is the 5 8 pin hole that goes all the way through. The second hole is a half inch pin hole for the J-pin style anti-rattle bolt. Next we'll give you a couple measurements to assist you selecting accessories for your new hitch. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of the bumper is approximately one inch. From the top of the receiver tube opening down to the ground is 19 and a half inches. This will assist you selecting accessories such as a ball mount, bike rack, or cargo carrier. We'll now go ahead and show you the minimum tools required for installing the hitch. We're going to use our half inch tube brush and spray lubricant. We've got our 18 and 19 millimeter sockets, an extension, ratchet, and torque wrench. Next, let's go ahead and show you just how easy it is to install the hitch. To begin our install, we're going to go ahead and lower and remove the spare tire. Here where the frame and the bumper meet at the back of the vehicle, we need to remove two of the manufacturer's bumper to frame bolts. Keep in mind we will not remove the top fastener as it will continue to hold the bumper to the frame. Keep in mind each process we do here on one side will get repeated identically on the opposite side. Now once we remove the manufacturer's hardware, we'll hang on to it as it will become the rear and center attachment points for the hitch reusing the manufacturer's fasteners. Our third attachment point on each side will be the well nut built into the frame by the manufacturer. This well nut will get the new 12 millimeter bolt and half inch conical tooth washer. The teeth of the washer will face the hitch. The fastener will then go through the hitch attachment point through a flat washer that will get sandwiched between the hitch and the frame and then into the well nut. Now over time, these well nuts build up with rust, dust, dirt, and debris, so I recommend to thoroughly clean them out before attempting to install the new fasteners. To clean it out, we're going to use a spray lubricant and our half inch nylon tube brush, part number 814092. Thoroughly clean the threads of the well nut out so we can get our new fastener in place. Now once you've got the weld nut cleaned out, I recommend to take one of the new fasteners and go ahead and put it into the weld nut to make sure it's going to go nice and easily. We'll go ahead and repeat the same process on the other side. We're now ready to go ahead and install the hitch. We'll take the passenger side, set it up on top of the exhaust, and bring the driver's side up to the frame. Now as we install our fasteners, we'll install each one finger tight until they're all in place. Now once all our hardware is installed, we'll go ahead and tighten it down. Now once we have our hardware tightened down, we'll go ahead and torque the specifications as indicated instructions. Now with our hitch in place, we'll go ahead and reinstall the spare tire. And that'll do it for the review and install of our Draw Tight Class 3 2 inch receiver tube hitch, part number 75291 on our 2009 Nissan Xterra.